Hi guys, in this video I will going to explain about the stress analysis of cantilever beam with the help of ANSI software. This is a cantilever beam having length of 1000 uh, mm and width of uh, beam having in eye cross sections and uh, width is 200 mm and depth is 150 mm and thickness is 10 mm. Young's smallest value is 200 gigapascal and the Poisson ratio is 0 0.3 now open ANSI software and apply the problem condition and then we are can able to take solutions select the structure and then ok and we process element type add so beam select two node <coughs> 188 beam and then ok close go to section um, beam common section and select uh, high cross sections with this Two hundred and W two also two hundred W three is one fifty three one fifty thickness. W three is one seventy. Uh, include a thickness also. And then 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 and then okay. <coughs> We want to see the PV, the PV option, and see the uh, cross section of the beam. Okay, then go to material property, material model, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic, and 2 into e to the power 5, and 0 0.3, and then OK. Modeling <coughs> Modeling Create Key Points in Active CS Two coin key points are created and select lines and go to lines and straight lines. Select key point one and key point two and then click OK. <coughs> go to missing this two missing attributes all lines. <coughs> all lines then ok go to mesh tool and select missing size control and manual size
Testing, test control, menu exercise, lines, all lines, under the value of the element, five, then okay. Okay, that is in the middle. After that, going to the store. Then, go to solution. Define load, apply structural displacement on key points. Select first key point, then OK. All DYF displacement value zero, and then OK. <coughs> After that, force and select force and moment. On key points, then OK. F Y directions minus person indicates the host directions, and then OK. Now going to solve this problem. Solve. And less then okay. This is done. We we have defined the problem. Now we are going to take a result. Go to general power post processor and before that we open the result viewer. You can appear on command box and then close. After that, you can take the result. In the post to processor, plot result, deformed shape, deformed place on deformed shape, and then OK. You can get the deformed shape of the other object. You want to take this drawing. Go to file and select report generator and then OK. Now we can capture this image, select this icon and then click OK. You can rename this file. Uh, Cantilever and then click OK. The image has been saved in our and our working directory. Okay. Then close. After that, go to element table. Element table. Define table. Add. Define table. Add. By sequence number. By sequence number. Yes, some ISC three and then apply a sequence number SMIC fifteen and then apply. A sequence number SMIC six and then apply a sequence number SMIC nineteen and then apply. Then close, go to contour path, go 
go to pound or flat and element by new element result go to node select <coughs> select sm isc 3 sm isc 16 and deformed serve this combination is bar for bending moment i have then ok this combination is for bending moment diagram the same way you can get this diagram you can save this image and click okay. BMD this diagram is automatically saved in your working directory and select line element um, 6 also 19 and undefined save and then ok defound save and then ok ok this is the way you can able to get the result and again if you want to get the nodal solution select nodal solution option and go to dyf solution and select y component displacement and then ok you can get the another image right next list result if you want to find out the reaction force at the each node can get uh, select list of result and go to reaction solutions all items and then ok can get all value in every node we had the reaction forces so uh, can save this for the future reference dot txt file then ok so like nodal loads then all items and then ok this is the nodal load uh, the first two we have seen we had seen the reaction solution and second one is nodal loads This also uh, you can take the result as future reference. Save the file dot dxt, then save it. Now we have to do the we know already the file name is exist, so we need that. After that, we can save it and then close. Next. Plot controls animate this, deform the result. Now you can give me time into a number of frames to be created ten and time to is zero point five second and then click OK this beam is continuously animated uh, what we have given the time frame thank you this is the way we have to analyze the candelabra beam
for the offline mode okay thank you you want to take the one muscles first for this okay so you have to analyze the one muscles stress okay thank you thank you thank you all